If you take 4829, take Varn. This little melody folk tune from Sweden called Visa från utan myra. I wish you very much welcome to this play guitar, guitar program. Uh, we are going to do a lot of things today, um, amongst others. Uh, this You have probably seen a guitarist moving al along the, the um, fingerboard, um, pressing down every string. And the trick behind that possibility is to press down all the strings with only one finger, so you've got many fingers left to, to uh, play with as well. We're not going to do it all that far, <laughs> but we are starting off playing something called barre, and that uh, is exactly pressing down many uh, strings with one finger. And in this case, we are doing it uh, over three strings with the four finger left hand. And the thing is then, when you press down, that you try to press your finger backwards as well, because then you have the right pressure on all the strings together. Uh, sometimes, if you've got stiff fingers, it might be difficult to press the finger back. It was very difficult for me when I started, I promise you, but after a few years, I, I did it right. <laughs> all right, but no, it's not gonna take more than some minutes, I think. Uh, well, could you... Uh, just listen to the melody first. We are going to play a um, uh, uh, um, tune called Made by the Well. But first of all, look here. you got the barry, and this is the forefinger. You can see here on the drawing it's bent. And this sign here, where it's black, crossing three strings, and even, it's not straight, what do you call it? It's slanted, slanted uh, across the strings, yes. Um, and with one figure on, it means barre with, with your forefinger. But here, then. The Made by the Well. Before you start to play it, I will play it for you. <laughs> it's also a Swedish folk tune. <laughs> Branches did out stretch, spread. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Uh, sometimes I'm singing absolutely the wrong text. Um, well, anyway, could you try to press down as I told you? No. That's good. And remember then, with your left hand, to keep your thumb uh, at the bottom, the very bottom of, of the back of the fingerboard. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and let your arm hang down so you feel comfortable like that. All right, here we go. And with your right hand uh, thumb, could you then pluck with, uh, on the fourth string? That's it, yes. And then E my fingers, after beat, and thumb, E my fingers, thumb, E my fingers. That's it, yes. Go ahead, until I say you should lift your left hand forefinger. Lift it up. Don't move it far away from the fingerboard so you will very quickly find your way back again. And now you press it down. Very 
very nice. You see, it didn't take many years. <laughs> Instant. You did it across. I knew you would. I hope it does work the same way for you at home as well. Press it down. No. Da, 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 da. Lift up. Da, da, da. Press down. Da, 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 da. Lift up. Da, da, da. Set down. Lift up. Set down. Set down. Lift up. And set down. Lift up. And set down. Lift up. And set down. You see how clever you are. You've done it already. <laughs> it wasn't very difficult, was it? Yeah. And that's the beginning of, of the possibility to, to play berry chords. And if you do that now and then, you will train your fingers and your finger muscles. Don't keep to this um, finger very long at the time because it will tire your muscles, uh, your thumb muscles and so on. So just hang your hand down, relax, do it for a couple of minutes again and so on. So otherwise you get disappointed. No, then. Here you can see... Um, you start with the open string, and uh, as you've seen before. And then this line across the tablature lines means barre. And it's all the same all the way. And uh, here you can see the finger for the right hand, P, E, M. So now you know exactly what to do when you look into the book, page 40. All right then. Could you play it together with me? P, E, M. P, E, Open strings, second fret again, and there is a repeat sign, you do it once more. Open string, E minor. That's it. And all open strings now, down on frets, yeah. So you've got time, in fact, in between you're playing with the th thumb to place your finger, and you should use that time. All right, continue the next one. It, and that should also be repeated. Now from the beginning, and uh, I will sing the melody. Would you try to keep up with me, even though you don't know the melody? You can invent one, <laughs> as long as it sounds nice. Now I'm sure you can. Now then, a maiden to the wellspring went. Her water falls to get. Are you good? A maiden to the wellspring went. Her water falls to get. And there a little hazel tree, its branches did outspread. And there a little hazel tree, its branches did outspread. I think you were absolutely marvelous. You, you <laughs> almost sang the, the same melody as I, but uh, of course you improvised a little, but that was on, uh, only nice to hear. Now then, there is a melody line, and uh, it is not translated uh, in the book, uh, uh, neither here. Uh, in the book on page 40, uh, you will find something called a note finder. And from that note finder on page 40, you will be able to um, translate the standard notation into tablature. And I will just do it uh, for you uh, some. Um, it goes like this. Four, two, zero, three, open, two, open, three. I'm doing it very fast now, but you can do it in your own speed uh, at home, if you compare it, as I say. I'm just showing you so you know that you can, by the note finder, find out how to do it. And then you can also get some practicing to read. Um, stand on notation. Could you try to play the melody now? Palm. Open. Four. Open. Two. <laughs> four. Two. Zero. Three. Open. Two. Open. Three. Two. Continue with the next line. Two. Four, open, open, two, four, open.
open to four open to four open yeah it was about you know we don't know it <laughs> probably probably you played also with with your forefinger but uh, the rule i had having one finger at the time uh, at the fret uh, one, four finger at the first fret and so on now you can change that rule and play in position two instead and that means you can play and then you can move the whole melody by ear like that just try it Will you? <laughs> sometimes <laughs> you don't have to do it in speed or perfect at once there is another melody called Michael Rodebot Zolt. You've heard that one. Yes. And it goes also with uh, Barre, <coughs> but it's moving um, uh, along the, the fingerboard a little bit more, like uh, Michael Rodebot Zolt, Alleluia. Michael Rodebot Zolt, Alleluia. That's it. Like, try it? Yep. All right, then. <clears throat> then we go right ahead to this <coughs> caption. You ready? Yeah. Play a couple of times. All notes together. The thumb and knee my fingers at once. Now we know the key where to start to sing. Michael Rowe, the bolt of soul. Alleluia. Michael Rowe, the bolt Alleluia. Michael rode the boat ashore. Alleluia. Michael rode the boat ashore. Alleluia. And then I was jumping to the last bar because we would like to end the melody. We had the same text, but uh, that was. Um, what you should do when you come to the fifth verse. And uh, this melody could also be played in other ways. Um, for instance, um, with your right hand, you could pluck, as you did, all together in an ordinary rhythm, but you could also play with your thumb first, like this. Or you could play P, I, Ma together, I, D, e, I, Ma, I, and if you speed it up a little bit. Michael, Michael rode the boat ashore, alleluia. And then you could add a rhythm, like that. Michael rode the boat ashore, alleluia. Michael rode the boat ashore, alleluia. Or whatever you like. must feel always free to do whatever you like with your right hand as long as you're playing on the guitar <laughs> or, or touching the string somehow otherwise it wouldn't sound at all <laughs> uh, well, would you like to try that do that p i ma together i alone p i ma i that's it and now we will look uh, at uh, another picture to show you what it looks like in the book on page 47, <coughs> where you will find something called slow foxtrot, amongst other things. Uh, could you uh, tap this rhythm? Lap, tap, 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 tap. It's just like riding a horse. And it's a 4-4 time. 
And now when you know how to do with your right hand, could you do then the same thing? Try to imitate your own rhythm you just tapped. Uh, playing on open strings, bass uh, f f six strings. P, E, Ma, E, P, E, Ma, E, P, E, Ma, E, P, I, Ma, E, I, P, I, Ma, I, P, I, Ma, so on. Da, di, da, dum, da, dum, da, dum, da, dum. That's it, you got it. Very nice. Uh, there are on that page, the same page, a lot of different rhythms, and music uh, has a lot of rhythms. You, have you danced r rumba? <laughs> oh, not, we're not going to start off with rumba anyway, but there is a rhythm, and there is samba, and tangos, and foxtrots, and, and waltz, and everything. And this page, 47, contains, to start with, a foxtrot. And uh, what is this sign? 4-4 four, four time. 4-4 four, four time. The tempo, though. Yep, that means one. One, two, three, four. But to make it swing a little bit more, we move the accent one step ahead. So it went one, two, three, four, and so on. And uh, could you play that a little bit? P, I, P, I, P, I, P. Good. And now, James, I would like you to take a step. And you will now realize something. <clears throat> Very important. Because uh, from have, uh, being a student, you have now reached the point of being the one in charge. <laughs> oh, I'm not surprised at all. <laughs> oh, because you got so good teacher? Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to try to fool you somehow. Uh, because I'm playing some rhythm over there. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I'm starting with Fox, but I'll tell you that. But then I will move on. Maybe the way it uh, looks. And you will discover which rhythm I, I'm playing. All right? I'll try. And you, yeah. you just um, point at the name of the rhythm. You <laughs> haven't started yet. The guitar was out of tune, I'm sorry. That's the problem with nylon strings. Da da rum da re, la da re da re, ra da de da de, de 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 da do, ra de de da do, ra de de da do, la de de da do, la de de da do, la de 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 de. <laughs> La da de da do, good yard. De 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 da do, de 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 da do, re de 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 da do. What do you think I'm gonna take now? One of those. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's correct. <laughs> that's the one, tango. <laughs> What, what was that? No, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't an rhythm at all. <laughs> it was just a special rhythm. Well, anyway, I release you from your, your position up there. That's very kind of you, Thank sir. you very much, sir. <laughs> and at the bottom of that page, you will find something called Bossa Nova. And, and um, Bossa Nova, I will not um, go um, by playing on guitar, but by tapping. We take the first one, it sounds like. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. Could you tap with me? One, two, and three, and four. 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 All right, then. <laughs> that, that's the one you start with. We'll come back to that later on. We'll do something in between first, which is something you have done before. Uh, not this uh, so, so way of playing it, but you've played Joshua for the battle. Then, to begin with, with two chords, but well, as you know, a melody can be made, uh, arranged in many, many different ways. And with this um, Play Together book, 
where you will find four um, parts, accompaniment parts, four guitar uh, to a voice, singing the melody. You can have a lot of fun and, and learn how to, to make more harmonies to a melody. And we start off with the first uh, guitar, and I want you at home to join in <coughs> doing that. And we do, as usual, uh, playing uh, for them uh, at home, just to see what it's like. Uh, third fret, first string, and each number played twice. Bam, 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 bam. Bum. Two, 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 three, three, two. That's it. I'm back to beginning again, and then play. Uh, try to sing the same one. <coughs> one, two. <coughs> yeah, just sing a long note or all the bar. One. <coughs> yeah. One. That's it. Very nice. And now you take uh, your own part. So we will become an orchestra containing four different parts. Ready? We take the first chord to see what it sounds like. Now then. Oh. Listen, the women's voice, vo uh, voice I would like to have a little bit stronger. Can you do that? No. That's cool. And, and uh, of course, the man together. <laughs> now then. Beautiful. All right then. Here we go. Together. One, two, three, four. Four. That's it. All right then. And here comes the melody again. Ready? One, two, three, four. Da 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 very nice. Could we take the, the very beginning again <coughs> and now try to listen to each other um, how, what you sound like. So you, you sing about uh, as strong as the other one. Mm -hmm. Not stronger and not quieter. <laughs> Louder and quieter. Just about the same. Alright, take the first chord. Now. <laughs> Beautiful. Now I could hear you listen. Alright, from the very beginning again I will let it swing. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yes, I fought the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Yes, I fought the battle of Jericho, and the walls came tumbling down. You may talk about your kings of Gideon, you may talk about your men also, but there's no like good old Yeshua at the battle of Jericho. Once more, so take it. One, two, three, four. Just about the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Just about the battle of Jericho, and the walls came tumbling down. You may talk about your man, Gideon. You may talk about your man also. But there's no like good old Joshua at the Battle of Jericho. Thank you very much. And we talked about Bossa Nova, and I think it's uh, about time to end this program with the Bossa Nova, written, uh, composed by a very famous Scandinavian guitarist called Ulrich Neumann. <laughs>